Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you uh, two more pairing methods, the WO method and the Nutella method. Neither of these methods is usable as a main method, and I wouldn't recommend learning them until you've learned one flip and Oka, or at least one flip. Um, and also there are some cases that I'm not going to teach you just because they're so slow, there's no point in learning them. So yeah, these are just some add-on algorithms that you can use in your solves. You know, I always say that I use a ton of methods. Well, these are some of the algorithms I've picked out that I use. The first step of the Nutella method is to solve one edge and put the other two edges on the front so they need to switch spots. And they should be oriented so there's a solid color right here. So one edge solved, these two need to switch with a solid color. Then we use an algorithm to solve the centers and switch these two edges at the same time. So in this case, we do R prime L prime D prime R prime. Then we do a last layer case just like keyhole. In the WO method, the first step is to solve the entire top like this. And then we use an algorithm to solve the centers and preserve this top. So in this case, R prime L, R prime L prime, R L prime. Then a last layer case just like keyhole. I'm going to start with the algorithms for the Nutella method and I'm going to do it in subsets again like the one flip tutorial. So I'll start with the one center cases with the Nutella method. Alright, two edges switched on the front, one edge solved. One center needs to twist counterclockwise. So we hold the two swapped edges on the front, the twisted center should be on the right. The algorithm is R, L, R, L prime. And of course all that is in the description. If there's one twisted center it needs to go clockwise, we use the algorithm, or we hold the two flipped edges on the front and the center on the right again, and the algorithm is L, R prime, L prime, R prime. Now we'll move on to the two center cases. Um, the only two center cases I'm going to teach you are when both centers need to go the same direction. If you have a case where they're, both the centers are facing inward or both facing outward, it's just terrible. There's just no good algorithm for it. So I just avoid those. Um, if both the centers need to be twisted clockwise, we hold them on the front, and the two switched edges should be on the left side, like this. The algorithm is L, U, and then we rotate, like that, R prime L, R. If both the centers need to be twisted counterclockwise, we hold the swapped edges on the right, and the algorithm is R prime, U prime, rotate again, L, R prime, L prime. All right, now we move on to the three center cases. These are probably my favorite cases. If all three centers need to be twisted the same direction and they all need to go clockwise, we hold the two switched edges on the front and the algorithm is R, D, L, R. If all of the centers need to go counterclockwise, we once again hold them on the front, and the algorithm is R prime, L prime, D prime, R prime. Okay, so that's it for the Nutella method. I'll move on to the WO cases now. All right, so the one center WO cases are really obvious and fast. So if uh, one center needs to be twisted counterclockwise, we hold it on the right, and the algorithm is R prime, L prime, R prime, L, R. If one center is twisted and it needs to be twisted clockwise, oops, focus, the, we hold it on the left and the algorithm is L, R, L, R prime, L prime. Now we get to the two center cases again. Uh, once again, I'm only going to teach you the cases where the centers both need to be twisted the same direction because the other ones are bad. So if both centers need to be twisted counterclockwise, we hold them on the front. The algorithm is R prime. L, R prime, L prime, R, L prime, which is really fast. If both of the centers need to be twisted clockwise, we hold them on the front again, and the algorithm is L, R prime, L, R, L prime, R. Now we'll move on to the three center cases for WO. I'm not going to do the three center cases where all of them are twisted the same direction, because they're slow. So this one, all three centers are twisted and then 
you want to find two on the front that match, like this. And then if the last bottom color is on the right over here, the algorithm is R prime, D, R, D, R prime. If the last of the bottom color is on the left right here, these two match, this one's on the left, the algorithm is L, U prime, R prime, D prime, 